oh, we have to beat up the ring light. Yay. Simba, Simba has to beat up the ring light right now. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I, I know. I know. He's very right. Sure. He's helping. Come on. Get back to your keyboard. Come on, baby. I know. It's mesmerizing and so bright. But maybe we could come back for a keyboard. Come on. All right. We don't need to be chewing on stuff right now. Uh, Thank you. So how are you, Sarah? I'm doing okay. He turned the brightness on my computer like all the way up. So you seem like you're doing better. Much, much better. They, uh, I had some very wonky blood work a couple weeks ago. Um, I came up like super anemic and like my thyroid was off. So they have me on thyroid meds and I'm like taking supplements and I'm feeling much, much better. I, I'm not I'm not trying to be insulting here because you know you were have been poisoned for six months, but you are definitely each week you're sounding a little bit better. Like Yeah. Yeah. You had like this I, kind of I, rounded I'm, edge to yourself for, for a while there. Yeah. I know. I'm, and like my speech was slurring and like I you know, I you know, I was poisoned and hacked up a little bit. Yeah, I mean it's, I, it's, I, Getting stronger. Your search is a nice feeling. You're you sound more like you every week. You're getting yeah. there. All right. Well, it's now it's time for the shit. And this the, every week there's always something. Every week. Thank goodness. We have a job. Here we go. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff for you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? This week we're starting with one of those stories that makes me so happy. I I love it. Better. I'm so happy. Because this is this is just I What's love I love that this is happening. This is, this is, ladies, friends, ladies, gentlemen, distinguished individuals, this is evolution at work right before your eyes. Thirsty raccoons are breaking into homes in Germany, specifically stealing beer. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Raccoons are not native to Germany, but in less than 100 years, the number of little mass mammals in the country has grown to several hundred thousand. Some Germans refer to them as Waschbach. I think I'm saying that right, probably not. Washing bears, because they're having a dunking food before they eat it. Uh, while other Germans call them straight up annoyances, especially when beer is involved. Vacationers and locals alike are getting home and discovering the raccoons have raided their kitchen causing thousands of dollars of worth of uh, damage in the process, ooh, including killing household bets, and stealing any beer they can find. On less frustrating occasions, the raccoons have been seen at city parks knocking over discarded beer bottles so they could drink whatever booze was left inside. The first step is admitting you have a problem. Here's my worry. Uh we all know how Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy starts, right? With the... The, the dolphins all just, like, abandon Earth because it sucked? Oh, you mean the movie. I, that's not how the book... I'm like, that's, okay, whatever. Yes. Isn't that how the book starts? No, that, that's like, so long it takes for all the fishes, like the second or third book. I swear that's in Hitchhikers because I haven't read the sequel. The the, the first book. I only read the first one. First book is Arthur laying. In, it starts off with Arthur laying down in front of the uh, the bulldozer. Anyway. Anyway. What concerns me is that like the orcas 
are just like, fuck your boat. Right. The otters are like, fuck your surfboard. Right. And now the raccoons are like, fuck everything. Let's get drunk. So, like, what do they know that we don't? Beer is good. That's what they know. But beer is not good. <laughs> beer doesn't taste good. I'm sorry. I've gotten in trouble for saying that before. Beer tastes like shit. So, like... Well, that's fine. That's more beer for me and the raccoons. I'm just saying, the animal kingdom seems to have reached fuck it. And I think we need to be more concerned about that. I, I just love, well, they're smart enough to know what they want, is the thing. And they want to be drunk. Yes. <laughs> what do you, if you think, but shit, because it'd be fucked. They have no job. They don't need money. They don't pay taxes. Food is everywhere. Why not be drunk? That's an awesome life. Yeah. What are you going to do today, George? I don't know. I think I'm going to get up and I'm going to break into someone's house, steal some beer and get fucked up. I forget what I was watching Michael Stipe on, and he was talking about koalas and, like, that he thinks koalas are the highest life form because they live on eucalyptus, which gets you high. Except and apparently makes their, makes their urine smell amazing. Yeah, but they've got, like, a little teeny tiny brain, and they, they, they have to re-eat. They have to better. They have to re eat the eucalyptus. Like, they have a tiny, tiny brain. They don't care. And they're high all the time. I just, I, I'm the idea that you could walk down the street and see like a raccoon dragging a beer bottle, like what? Like, fucking what? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? <laughs> you want to make something of it? Huh? Huh? Motherfucker. No. I can fuck you up and you'll never know who I was. Try and pick my ass out in the lineup. I'm just I I just think as a species we should perhaps be more concerned. I as just, how far past fuck it nature seems to have gone. I'm just writing it down. I I just it's like like slim pickings in the ball. I'm just just riding it down. Now we get to less fun shit. This is from this is from fucking New Zealand. Why is this fucking New Zealand? This this how the All right, you remember we we have like this epidemic of a bunch of these little like uh stores popping up in Philippines, Japan, other places. They're like doing like Nazi shit. Like, yeah. It doesn't see what why? This is another one. This this That's doesn't shire. This doesn't go there. They're not doing Nazi shit in the Shire. Technically, yes. Quiz team. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's this it's not okay. It's not okay at all. Look at that fucking picture. Quiz team apologizes for KKK hoods. And their actions as shocking, disgraceful. A quiz team who dressed in Ku Klux Klan outfits at a Bay of Plenty community fundraiser. I'm going to repeat that again. Dressed in Ku Klux Klan outfits at a Bay of Plenty community fundraiser. Said so they're sorry as we condemn their actions. The men dressed in white Ku Klux Klan hoods and carrying a petrol can um, attended a quiz night Kaimai, on August 19th and called their team Give Us a Clue, spelled with a K. King L. 
you. You. The uh the the the, the evening was held in a. You know I love a pun. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a. That is that is like yeah. the antichrist of puns, right there. Yeah. Evening was held in a Western Bay Council Community Hall and organized by a community group, uh, by my settlers committee to raise money for table. Ku Klux Klan is a kid. I know how they're having to explain this to people in New Zealand. New Zealand. It's a clandestine yeah, I was saying. white supremacy organization in the United States which terrorized and killed African Americans, Jews, and other racial minorities. Some close to the event described it as, quote, a bit of fun, a storm in a teacup, and the people were just, quote, rural people. You know. You know. Morons. But locals are outraged. That, that was my question. Like, did did they even have the fucking clan? No, they they, they don't. And trees. They like, did. That's a uniquely American brand. Yeah, I mean they've got so, racism. Well, uh, they got racism, but we've got like the franchises. You know, right? They they they've got like you know the craft racism. We've got like you know the distributor. We've got capitalist hellscape. Please yeah. say so. It's like the, the team was, quote, deeply ashamed and embarrassed by its, quote, poor judgment and lack of awareness about the gravity of the situation. Bullshit. But we're showing. They were deeply embarrassed by the fact that they got called out for it. Yeah, there's other people who's like, yeah, it's no big deal. No, it is kind of a big deal. This is like, yeah, this is going to, some people are going to be like, he really made this comparison. And I'm like, yes. Um, you know how uh, in, in Marvel Comics, America has the X-Men and Canada has Alpha Flight? You know, we got, we have the X- X-Force? No, they have, they have Alpha Flight. That, that's Canada. Oh. That's sort of like how Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan are. They're similar, but they're down budget. No one's really sure what they're all about. And they, you know, they kind of vaguely suck. It's the same situation. I mean, if you think about, like, the Nazis were rocking Hugo Boss, and literally the American version just cut up some bed sheets. And literally, the only nice thing I can say about the Nazis is they had designer suits. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's... Not that, not that I'm dying for nice things to say about Nazis, but like, with designer suits. Um, I guess they uh, do I have to? No, oh, it's fucking. Like, hell, they didn't know what this was all. Like, fucking hell. In the words of Rihanna, you're only sorry you got caught. Speaking of getting caught, oh, oh boy. The huevos on this this whole group. We've got some remarkable mugshots here. They are spectacular. Spectacular. Like, ha, ah, beautiful. This is the brazenness here. You just have to appreciate. I mean, they were dumb as fuck, but textbook. There's that word. Diner employees caught smuggling drugs during Davies County trial. And just look at that collection of mugshots. That is that is amazing. Like we got like you know dollar store weekend over there. What the fuck? Yeah, six people are now facing charges after authorities in Davies County say they were trying to smuggle drugs during a trial. Police shows on Wednesday, August sixteenth, during the trial of Harold Sanders. Food was delivered from outside the court system intended for sale. Sanders is on trial for trying to kill an Owensboro Police Department officer. 
which will say, it is unusual for food intended for inmates to be delivered from anywhere other than the jail. You think? Court staff became suspicious, and the food container was then searched. Davies County Sheriff's Office said suspected drugs were found inside. Investigators were then called. Drugs were seized and tested. During the investigation, detectives say a, they discovered an inmate used his phone privileges to place a takeout order at D's Diner. So the inmate asked for food to be picked up by a third party. An employee at the restaurant put drugs in the food container. So they had this elaborate bullshit going on. Right? All thinking, well, he's hab- he's on trial for attempted murder. Maybe he could use some meth. Well, well we, we deliver. We deliver. And like four of them seem to be related. <laughs> Matthew Fullerton, Timothy Fullerton, Timothy Fullerton. What? I think oh my God. What? You think it's what? Two of them are. I'm thinking it's father and son. Because 43 year old Timothy Fullerton, 24 year old Timothy Fullerton, 21 year old Matthew Fullerton, and 44 year old Jennifer Fullerton. So I'm thinking this is like a, literally a mom and pop. This is my cousin Daryl. This is my other cousin Daryl. <laughs> the, the, the fucking. The, the 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 audacity of thinking you called for takeout from jail this will be fine this this will work this is a great idea every fucking thing that goes into the jail they can poke at and like this is like trying to bake a file into a cake only it's meth yeah there's a reason that shit never you works don't... You don't really get to bake a file into a cake anymore. They x-ray things now. The fucking hell. Yeah, this was, this, th- there was no part of this plan that wasn't just that. The idea, like, how are they not going to find each and every one of you? You're all got the same last name. Yeah. Just open the phone book and go down the list. Wait, we don't have phone books anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just try. Wow. Like, they had this whole organized plan, and not a single one of them stopped and went, wait a second. Um, I see we have a bit of a hitch here. No, not a one of the... What's the like search it though? Oh, well, they won't do that. Timmy, they're not gonna do that. Oh, we'll get no it. other Timmy. Oh, okay. Well, I swear. Okay, next up, this is Alabama, and I swear to God, I thought this is a repeat. It is not a repeat. I, I, it blew my mind that this was not a repeat. It, it literally, it, it fucking happened again. Uh, let me get this over to you. Calhoun County Correctional Officer arrested, fired after stealing Pokemon cards in uniform. And I had to look at the date on it. I looked at the date on it, August 14th, 2023. Yeah. He had a shit eating grin on this asshole. Yeah, I think that was his uh, work photo, not the yeah. mugshot photo. Calhoun County Correctional's officer. Which, like, which, like, fuck you. That you get to get arrested and have, like, your nice work headshot. Right, and not Where mugshot. That fucking mugshot. Yeah. After completing his shift Saturday night, Officer Josh Hardy left the Calhoun County Jail and proceeded to Walmart. While there, Walmart's Loss Prevention Division witnessed Hardy remove several Pokemon cards from their packet, placing them inside his pocket. Literally the same shit as that other guy did. Literally! Walmart police confronted Hardy as he attempted to leave without paying, after which 
He fled the store on foot. Officer police located Hardy at a nearby restaurant where he was arrested in jail and charged with theft. If you are the dude who looks after the people in the jail, I would think the last thing you would want to do is something that would put you in the jail. Yeah. Like. And something so fucking stupid. Also, like, can you imagine being the that Walmart LP officer? Just watching this happen, be like... Because, like, I've worked a lot of retail, and I've usually befriended the loss prevention people, you know? I, <laughs> can you imagine being that LP guy who's, like, watching the camera and being like, do I really have to go out there and, like, <laughs> tackle a fucking, sher- a fucking sheriff's deputy? Like, do, do I really have to go out there in my little fucking blue vest and take down a cop right now? That's that's what I have to do? All right, Charlie. Charlie. Stop it. He's quite literally climbing the walls. Because <laughs> I've, got, I've got carpet padded up on the walls to deal with the echo and he's climbing the carpet no but i had to double check and like what the the difference is one dude was uh in um a target last time but it was also a cop just opened the packages and tried to and left with them charlie oh there he goes but also, like, there's not even a guarantee you're going to get a valuable card. Right. Like, you might have done this shit for $10. I think you get, like, one rareish per pack or some shit. I don't know how they, they split it up. But regardless. But, but like, the odds that you're going to get one that's worth this. Is, is this what they're using for money in jail now? I guess it's cigarettes smoking. are bad for you. Yeah, it's bad for you. Yeah. So now, is, is this how they're... The Pokemon cards, is this how it works? That that would be that would be funny. You'd sell your ass for a Charmander? That shit's weird, man. The nerds now rule the prison. What the hell? How, how do you get to this point in your life? How do you like be like you were a, a law enforcement officer? You already have issues there, but you're a law enforcement officer. You're standing in the Wally world and you are opening packets of bits for a kid's game, and this seems good and normal to you. And it doesn't occur to you that Walmarts have cameras like every six inches. Charlie. Like how are you how are you a cop and don't know that? Um, well, here the the threshold for law enforcement officer is not always quite a high bar. This next one is it like I'm just all the loss prevention people I've known, I'm just picturing the LP guy in the office, just like, son of a bitch. <laughs> My day did not eat this. Well, next up, we have had quite a few occasions here on the show where uh, people have seemed to be emulating Grand Theft Auto in real life. The video. I think, honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen someone do Mario Kart. Drunken go-kart joyride leaves Rockford man with 14 charges. Rockford man faces 14 charges at police say he went on a drunken go-kart ride. In a mock turtleneck. That's embarrassing. Ricardo Menez, 29, was arrested on Saturday following a brief police chase. All from his Polaris hammerhead go-kart. 
police initially observed him as doing donuts in the Conklin Elementary School baseball diamond in a nearby grass, causing large chunks of the ground. Jimenez then began driving away from the school, headed southbound on Coleman, before police attempted to pull him over. The maximum speed of a Bolaris hammerhead, 150cc, is 25 miles per hour. And you couldn't catch him. <laughs> well, Tara... You they, couldn't catch him. Tara, they didn't have a red shell. They were waiting for the star to get the power up. That's that's school zone speed. <laughs> The 29-year-old allegedly ignored police, fled through a stop sign, and drove behind a home, continuing to a nearby wooded area. Police later saw, saw him in as run into the home, arrested him after he attempted to leave the front door. Field sobriety test issued to Jimenez resulted in multiple DUI charges, also charged with fleeing and reckless driving. How This is one of those what-are-you-in-for stories you don't want to have. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was go kart. Drunken go karting. Go kart. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. They're pointing out the channel. Um, you need the blue shell because he was in the lead. That is a very good point. Yes. <laughs> you guys are speaking Klingon to me. You know that, right? I have yeah. never played this game. So good. I'm Always vaguely you. aware. It's... This me, yes. I'm vaguely aware it's a driving game. <laughs> How do you find yourself fleeing from the cops on a goddamn go kart? Okay, generally. Oh, sec. Get God. Charlie, you cannot be doing this. I am ungovernable. Here. No, up here. Up here. It's just, it's cat anarchy today, apparently, on the show. Oh, my God. My headphones back on. What is your, what is your major malfunction, little bit? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You'll never take me alive. You are not going back to climb that wall again. <laughs> Charlie? No, sir. I am 100% going to climb that wall again. No, sir. No, sir. Charlie? In the kitty's defense, if you don't want your cats climbing the walls, don't carpet the wall. Sure. You, you will go. You will stay put. Okay. He is not in a state. No. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, scratches. I'm gonna get that wall though. What is your major malfunction? Why? Because can I? My house has an unfinished basement. And, uh, but they, they like insulated it and then did like plastic sheeting or something over to hold the insulation in because it doesn't have drywall. So it's just insulation and this like plastic stuff. Anytime Simba gets down there, first thing he does is start gnawing on the walls. Like chewing through the plastic sheeting, holding in the insulation. He's purring right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get that microphone. Get that microphone. Oh, yeah. He's like, still purring. He's still purring. Murder. 
It's just cat anarchy today. <laughs> oh, you're a little apex predator. Good job. Yeah. How's he getting along with the other two? They are. They play, but there is still a little fighting. But they're all right. I can he's, see him being a little high high energy for Grady. He's fascinated with Grady, and Grady wants, does not know what the fuck to do with it. That's how it was with Valkyrie for a long time. All the all the big cats were just like, "Whoa, whoa, what 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 is all of this bouncing?" And then she just rolls over and shows them her belly, like. For a feral, she's surprisingly docile, and like the matter, the big cat's get at her, just the harder she cutes at them. And then they don't know what to do. Because they like growl ladder, and she just flops over and gives them the belly, and they're like, well, I don't, I don't know what to do. So, you win, little cat. We got one more this yeah. week. And I... This one, holy shit. Meth is a hell of a drug. That's all I'm going to say about this one. Let me send this over. Holy shit. Man accused of stripping naked, flooding San Francisco high-rise to face felony charges. That's a weirdly constructed headline because it sounds like cause and effect. Like he stripped naked and flooded the building in order to. Headline writers, don't phone it in. A San Francisco judge denied a motion to reduce the felony vandalism charges against a man accused of getting naked in his high rise apartment building and intentionally flooding the property causing millions in damage and leading to the evacuation and relocation of hundreds of his neighbors. And here's a picture. Did you see that picture? That is that is nightmare fuel. In addition to the felony vandalism charge, Michael Nine, Nine also faces a misdemeanor charge of tampering with a fire alarm. He's pled not guilty. Pled not guilty. Earlier in the morning of October 11th, 2022, Nine allegedly got naked, ran up and down the hallways of his 418-unit apartment building, banging on the doors of his neighbor. He then went down to the 11th floor and opened high-pressure pipes meant for use by firefighters to set water pouring down to lower floors. Emergency responders found him in what they described as, quote, an altered mental state. He was naked, drenched in water, standing next to an open pipe. Oz Erickson, the chairman of the Emerald Fund, which owns the uh, building, says, Wait. What? The dude na a dude named Oz? Oz Erickson, of the Emerald, Emerald Fund. Fund. <laughs> yes. I know. That makes me feel like this guy's getting framed. <laughs> Because the wizard was corrupt as fuck. So, you know. Well, Oz said the vandalism caused upwards of 14 million in damage. More than 200 residents of the property were forced out of their homes for months during the holidays. Whoosh. Just, I, I cannot, I've, we, I've had leaks here. I cannot imagine in an apartment building. Up, man. Yeah. How I don't even know how my brain would react to that shit happening. Like, how do you process I that? Panic. Like a couple of months ago, when I accidentally, like, I nearly flooded my kitchen and basement because I had a cut in my sprinkler line. Like, and I have like an inch of water on my kitchen, floor, my base, and I live in a dry climate. Like, it was dry in a day, but still, like. Walking in my house and seeing that water, I just saw my light flash before my eyes. Like, oh no. And just that, that entire hallway is filled with what it's like flooding. 
from the top down. Yeah. And like San Francisco is a coastal community, which means humidity, which means black mold. Like for a minute or two, you think like, wait a minute, someone flood a bathtub? No, no, it's everything. Everything is flooded everywhere. Everything. I had to swim out of the fucking building at that point. I mean, the, odd, the guy's got the audacity to plead not guilty. Oh, 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 you didn't do it. Was it some other naked guy who was banging on the door? Because you're yeah. the only naked guy we found next to the open pipe. So. It was my twin brother. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it was Oz. Turning. Frog. I don't know. I, I, I lured that little girl into a poppy field and everything. I'm just saying they're parallel. So. I, that, that's a fucking, I just, that picture is sending me. Yeah, just like, what was what's the upside of whatever drugs you were? On? There are none. Is that like is the, is that fun? That doesn't seem fun to me. And now everybody in that building is seeing your noodle. Yeah, that that's that's not that's that's gonna make. I mean, that makes the, the next homeowner association meeting a little weird. Or the, or the condo board. Now, yeah, it just makes it a little... I feel like the fact that he rendered everybody homeless is going to yeah, be just... higher. Uh, Let's yeah. just why the next meeting's awkward. Yeah, that's, that's true. The fact that he ruined everybody's lives. Yeah, that's... $14 million. Like, you got to have a really embarrassing penis to top that. Connor O'Darity, a resident of the, uh, uh, of the building, said he awoke to fire alarms in the early morning and found water up to his ankles that completely took over his apartment. Quote, what Michael Nine did wasn't simple vandalism, it was terrorism. Connor. Connor. I don't think you... You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think. It means. Now I'm feeling a little less bad for some of these folks. So look, a little. But I mean, you know, if you're a disabled person and now all the elevators don't work and it's a surprise, you're fucked. Like, you know, I mean. He definitely ruined some lives because there are probably people that are bankrupted by this, but Charlie, what the fuck are you doing? He like gets to the top and he's like, okay, I'm gonna jump down. There's nothing up there, goofers. It's the journey, not the destination. Or he's a dumbass. See, I'm worried about this because I just bought like felt tiles to put behind my computer <laughs> because you're telling me that I have an echo. And eventually I am going to get them hung. But um, the man in the house, as you saw, like can't resist a ring light. So I'm a little concerned when there's like when the wall behind the computer becomes scalable. I want. So, what did we learn this week? We learned um, you can't really try to pin the crime on someone else when you're the only naked guy running up and down the halls, standing next to the open water. I mean that. 
I mean, it could be two separate crimes. It could be naked guy running up and down the halls and then someone else who, like, busted the pipe. I think we're going to go with Occam's razor on this one. Think about the genius of that. Like, if you've always wanted to just fuck the building and suddenly you have your opportunity because that because that meth head is running around naked, who is going to We've learned that of all the vehicles to attempt to steal, maybe not a go kart. Uh, was it stolen? You know, it doesn't I say. Know it was his. It does. I don't. I don't remember. But regardless, you can't flee from the police in a go kart. You just can't. No. Well, I mean, apparently you fucking can't, because they didn't catch him until he was on foot. I wonder if they they had bicycles. Uh, we, we've learned that grown men in law enforcement have this prolicive I, I, I lost the word there. You were in proclivity. There it is. Pokemon. Yeah, they have proclivity for, for stealing Pokemon from large big Bart's box market. Is, is this a thing now? Is this the new trend? Should should we be should should we like have a like a nightly news segment on every local news channel? Is your law enforcement stealing Pokemon cards tonight at six? We've learned that <laughs> trying to send something into the jail. Trust me, bro, is not going to get it past. A search. Yeah. That's not gonna No, you don't need, you don't need to look under that bun. What are you doing? That's my cousin Daryl's mother <laughs> We've learned that costuming yourself as the highly racist organization of another country is still costuming yourself as a highly racist organization. Like, nobody's getting a joke out of it. I mean, there was, the way he in the last year, Bilbo's 111th birthday. Can you imagine how just done with Lord of the Rings these people must be at this point? Probably. Like, just, just Probably fucking done. Really sick of that shit. Uh, Bilbo, you're fucking baggins. Get the fuck out of here. We we inflamed the concords too, you fucking assholes. <laughs> and what we do in the shadows. And what we do again. Yeah, just... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And finally we've learned if you have if you don't need a job or money or clothes or even food. Fuck it. Why not be drunk? I think the right well, kind of... What? Why do you need to? What stress do you have, raccoons? I, you know, maybe, they, maybe they're on to something. Like, what need have you for drunkenness? Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure, like, when we've moved, when, when we have, like, eliminated ourselves... I can see raccoons like, well, now what do we do? I guess we're going to have to learn how to make the beer ourselves. 